Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our Windows 10 and Windows 11 March optional bug fix C release updates rolling out, which Microsoft started pushing out late yesterday in my part of the world on the 26th of March. And for Windows 10, the update this month is the, the exact same update I posted on a week or two ago when it was still in preview and now has made its way to the stable channel KB5035941. Now, the update is optional, as mentioned, but if you have the get the latest updates as soon as they're available toggle turned on, then the update will be downloaded and, downloaded and installed automatically, so just keep that in mind. And with this optional update, we get four new features. Now, the first two... Microsoft says these features might not be available to all users because they will roll out gradually. And the first two I have posted on previously. And the first is Windows Spotlight for the desktop, which I'm not seeing yet because, um, as mentioned, it is on a controlled rollout. And adding more content to your lock screen, which I'm also not seeing. But I will leave uh, that previous video as mentioned, um, for the update when it was still in preview in the end screen if you would like some more info. Now, first of all, the first new, as mentioned, the update adds Windows Spotlight to your desktop background. This feature displays new images as your desktop wallpaper. And if you want to know more about an image, if you do see the little Spotlight um, icon on your desktop, um, you click or tap the Learn More button, which takes you to Bing, which will open up in Microsoft Edge. So to turn on this feature, if you have received it, because remember I said it's on a controlled rollout, if you have received this feature, you head over to your Settings, Personalization, Background, and if you have received it, you will see Windows Spotlight in this drop-down menu. As you can see, I have not because it is still on a gradual rollout. So Windows Spotlight for the desktop is now making its way into Windows 10 version 22H2. Now, the second one is that the update adds more content to your lock screen. So in addition to weather, sports, traffic, and finance, um, you'll also get those uh, cards and widgets appearing. So just remember, though, that if you... you enable weather on your lock screen you will get all those additional cards so it'll be weather sports traffic and finance content that will appear so it's something that's just to take note of and as mentioned very similar to the previous you just head to settings personalization lock screen and yeah you'll see if you add weather like i have that'll add those individual cards as mentioned all together weather sports traffic and finance content will appear on your lock screen but if you want more info, as mentioned, that previous video will be in the end screen. And then the third new feature, I'm just going to mention this because it's mainly affecting IT admins. The update affects Windows Hello for Business. IT admins can now use Mobile Device Management, MDM, to turn off the prompt that appears when users sign into an enter joint machine. And then the fourth new feature is one around that is one that's been around for quite some time but is now making its way into the European Economic Area, the EEA, where the update adds search highlights to the taskbar search box for the European Economic Area. And just on a side note, um, if you are in the, the EEA and you are now seeing search highlights, if you don't want to uh, see the little animation to the right hand side of your taskbar search, you just right click head up to search and you can toggle off show search highlights if you don't want that to be available and obviously if you want it on you can toggle that on so that's search highlights is now available in the taskbar search box for the european economic area and then just to go through two key highlights as um, issues that have been addressed the update addresses an issue that affects the touch keyboard apparently uh, it wasn't open in some times and um, something else to take note of is that when you sign in, you might also see a message that invites you to upgrade to Windows 11. And apparently this is what some are calling an ad or what I would say a nag ad. It's basically a full screen prompt or ad or notification as Microsoft calls it. And this message only appears if your device is eligible for an upgrade. So um, if you 
if your Windows 10 device does meet the system requirements to be upgraded to Windows 11, you could start seeing this message that Microsoft says invites you to upgrade to Windows 11. I just call it a nag ad, but that is also still on a gradual rollout. So a lot of these key highlights and new features are still only rolling out gradually. So you may see them or you may not as I'm not in my case. Now, because this is a non-security update, it does include other quality improvements. And I'm just going to pull out a couple of um, the bug fixes and so on and improvements that you may be interested in. So if you do want to stick around, the update supports daylight saving time, DST changes in three regions, in Palestine, Kazakhstan, and also Samoa. The update changes the English name of the former Republic of Turkey. It addresses an issue that stops some apps and features from being available. This occurs after you upgrade to Windows 11. It also addresses an issue that affects Microsoft Edge. Apparently, it was failing to open on Surface Hub. And then the last one, just to mention, uh, there's an issue that was affecting scanners, where scanners were stopping to respond in certain circumstances. That bug has also been addressed. So that's more or less what's new, guys. That is rolled out with um, this month's optional bug fix C release update for uh, Windows 10, which, as mentioned, is KB. 5035941. Now, just to answer a question, I know I'm going to get asked in the comments. There is no mention of any fix for KB5035441, which was failing to install. And I'll leave a playlist for the issues um, that this update has been causing in the end screen as well. So as yet, Microsoft still hasn't rolled out a fix for KB5035441, which was failing to install due to the recovery partition uh, sizing not being correct and so on and then if the update and if you do decide to install the update once it's installed if we head over to winver which gives us the about windows menu for windows 10 version 22 h2 after the update has been applied the os build is now sitting on on sorry on build 19045.4239 so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one